George, congratulations. Maiden first class half century. How's that feel? Yeah, it feels really good. Um, it's nice to get to the end of the day and see that the team's in a good position where tomorrow we can hopefully kick on and win the game. That's the main thing. But to get 50 as well on a personal note is a proud moment. Yeah, you must be thrilled. Um, you got your top score in the first innings and you've gone one better in the, in the second innings. Yeah, yeah, really happy to sort of show some improvement at this level. I haven't really had the success with the bat that I was hoping for in the first four games. So to come into this week and have a 30-odd, disappointed to get out and then to be 50 odd and out overnight is, is happy uh, I'm happy with that now you seem to put your foot down towards the end there were you making sure you got it done tonight with perhaps little uncertainty as to what will happen tomorrow morning uh, yeah I'm not completely sure what the plan is at the moment I'll have to let Dane decide that and we'll have a chat about that overnight I'm sure uh, but we wanted to be in a position where we have enough runs on the board and we have enough overs tomorrow to bowl Derbyshire out to win the game um, so that was the thinking behind the acceleration towards the end of the day. Yeah. And I suppose nice to get to 50 and get it done tonight rather than having to think about it overnight. Yeah, I thought it was going to get given out on 49 yeah. as well. Um, but I think it bounced anyway, so I got away with that one. Uh, but yeah, nice to get there overnight and it also takes, yeah, you know, if we are going to declare overnight, then there's no worries about me getting 50. It's not really a massive milestone, but at the end of the day, it's nice to get the first one ticked off and move on with my career now. You contributed, George, haven't you, with, with bat and with, with ball. You, you must be really pleased with, your, with how it's gone so far. Yeah, I've, I've managed to contribute without getting that big score or that big haul of wickets, which I'm happy with. Um, and I know that if I keep performing as well as I can and keep sort of trusting the process at the moment, then in the future, hopefully then hundreds will come, there's five wicket hauls and, and win more games for Lancashire. Compared to when we spoke at Worcester, do you feel a little bit more settled into the team? Yeah, I think it's probably natural that once you play four or five games, you feel a bit more, um, you know, at ease at this level. Um, the pitch this week as well has kind of suited my game. Pretty slow as a bowler with a bit of sea movement in it, and then coming out today has just been about sort of enjoying myself. There was a bit of freedom with the situation, and, and that allowed me to play my shots and showcase my skills, I guess. I asked you at Worcester, what's your, what's your strongest suit, batting or bowling? And you said, I'm not quite sure. Have you got any any uh, clearer idea? No, not at all. I don't think. I'm still still in a similar situation. Um, I work on both over the winter and hopefully at the start of next season we can turn up and perform with both. And if it turns out that I'm a genuine all rounder then so be it. <laughs> and was it nice to get the new ball as well last night? Yeah, I felt a little bit of pressure. You, you could probably see that, I guess. My first two overs, I think, went for 15. Um, and I was probably just overthinking it a bit too much. And then as soon as I had a chat with Dane and we decided, right, forget about the fact it's a new ball. Let's just bowl at the top of the off stump and hold the seam up straight and know that if it hits the seam, it might go one way or the other. Then it made it a lot more sort of easy and simple in my mind. And it was an easy plan to bowl to and, and I began to have a bit more success. But no, I enjoyed taking the new ball. When you came into the team at Worcester, you were surrounded by a lot of players who played quite a lot of, a lot of cricket. This game, you've got some of your mates in. I mean, it's, 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 it's a pretty young team, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But... You know, I love it to be honest. Uh, I'm playing with three mates that I've played with for quite a long time in Tom Hartley, George Lavelle, uh, and Jack Morley. I've played a lot of cricket with him, so I'm really excited to see him play this week. And for him to get his first wicket today was, you know, it's a proud moment for him, but also sort of a proud moment for me because I played so much cricket with him and, and I really enjoyed being on the field to share that moment with him. It's been a real benefit, I think, of the competition, and it's not just Lancashire, but I think Lancashire had seven players make their first class debuts this, this season. That's a, a real, I think, good spin-off to it this year I think isn't it yeah I think so um, obviously we've had injuries which has sort of forced our hand into playing us youngsters um, but to see that we've got strength in depth and we've got lads coming through who can still perform at this level is a big plus for the club and hopefully for the future ahead it'd be nice to win it tomorrow wouldn't it sign off with a victory yeah hopefully pick up a few wickets with that new ball tomorrow um, put Derbyshire under pressure and, and win a game it'd be great to finish with a win